Antu.tv presents You and Your Doctor, teaching you to live a longer and healthier life. Proudly sponsored by All County Healthcare, where people are the heart of our business. All County Healthcare is a Medicare certified agency where one call will service all your home care health needs. For more information, call 954 717 7027 or visit our website, allcountyhealthcare.com. Now, Let's get informed to living a longer and healthier life. Here is your host for today's show. Good evening, everybody. I am your host, Louise Gomez. Welcome back to another episode of You and Your Doctor. And we are sponsored by All County Healthcare. We are a certified home health care agency servicing Palm Beach County, Broward, and Miami-Dade. Our number is 954-717-7027. And tonight, I have the pleasure of introducing everybody to Dr. Nancy Powers. Her phone number to be reached at is 561-631-6344. And you can certainly email her at drnancytalkshealth at gmail.com. She is a chiropractic doctor as well as a board-certified holistic physician in functional medicine and nutrition. Thank you so much for coming to the show, Dr. Absolutely. Nancy. Absolutely. What a pleasure. We, we really appreciate um, you taking time out of your busy schedule and sharing with us a little bit about your experience and your knowledge. And I always like to ask, you know, what was it that inspired you to want to become a physician and, and, and take, down, take that path and a little bit more about maybe where you went to school? Absolutely. Well... Um, being a physician is actually my second career. My first career was in television news. Oh. And when I was in college, and everyone in my family is a medical doctor because I'm Jewish. So like at the Thanksgiving table coming up, we're going to have upwards, I think it's like 40 people, like at least 30 of them are doctors. But I am the only holistic one because when I was in college... I went to New York University and I had a, a terrible accident. I fell in the shower mm. and knocked myself unconscious. And I was unconscious for four days. Oh and I woke up with total amnesia. I didn't recognize my family. I, I could speak, but I didn't recognize anybody. And I had terrible migraines. I had double vision and my arm was palsied like this. So in wow. the medical community, what was I given? I was given pharmaceutical drugs and more pharmaceutical drugs and I was becoming ve a vegetable. And oh. my mother, God bless her, took me to a chiropractor, a holistic physician, and he realigned the top bone in my neck and my double vision went to single vision. It Thank converged. God. My arm came back to my normal, even better position. And I got process? my memory back. How long was that whole process from the time that you... you about, know? about almost a year. Oh, wow. Almost a year. Mm -hmm. I had to take off time, but I was determined. But had it not been for balancing out my body, mm -hmm. because you need proper structure for proper function, so much so that later on in my career, I got a calling from the divine mm. to become a holistic physician. So I left my previous career and I went back to university. I went to life in Georgia and I became a holistic physician. And every day it is my mission and my blessing to help people naturally. So we're helping all of you yes. naturally so you can have the rest of the year to be the best part of your year. You know, I... That's such an amazing story that you're sharing with us because you had that whole experience and it literally shape shifted your life yes. to a new to yes. have a new a new you made your mess your message, right? You well, you, you really turned it into your your passion to help true. people. It's true. Had I stayed in the traditional medical scenario that they had laid out for me, I would have been unable to live the brilliant, joyous life that I have enjoyed. I would have most likely become addicted to painkillers. Yeah. And also, had my alignment not been corrected, right. it never would have worked properly. Mm. If the neurological network is not in balance, you can't expect it to work. And there's no pill for that. Surgery, 
surgery, maybe, but who wants that? Right. So a holistic approach is is really something that should be at least explored. And I hope everybody listening out mm -hmm. there will at least have in their mindset an open conversation with the ability to heal yourself naturally because you can. I, yeah. Given the proper tools, thankfully right. your mother was wise enough to, to realize that, you know, take you to a, a chiropractor That's to get right. you in alignment. That's right. Cause I fell, see, I fell. So it was knocked out. Mm -hmm. So then also the components of like nutrition yes. and all of the other ways that you can make small, healthy changes to make big, healthy improvements. That's really what we're so excited about talking about. Absolutely. What did Hippocrates, what's his famous quote? Let your food be thy medicine and thy medicine be thy food. Absolutely. Because there's so much value in the food that we eat. Absolutely. And I know you, um, that's something that's really important to you. You know, especially now, Dr. Nancy, the holidays are coming up. That's right. <laughs> so th there's a lot of people that are... Um, maybe wanting to have healthier choices or take um, make better options, have better options to, to share with the family. Absolutely. And I really believe that you should take the rest of the year and make choices to make it the best for your year so you can thrive in 25. And it's up like to that. you. Knowledge is power. Mm -hmm. Okay. I always say, if you go to the doctor, if you go to the physician, they have hundreds or thousands of charts. You have one, one chart, one heart. So you need to take, take control of everything that goes into your mouth, everything that goes into your mind. Right. So you can, so you can feel better every day in every way. It's totally achievable and it's up to you. That's why we're here to help. You know, I like what you just said and everything that goes into our mind, right? right. Because with social media and, and the constant bombardment with everybody on their phones, uh, you know, we consume so much information That's now right. that we're not even aware of as opposed to maybe 30 years ago before the internet. Just the mind is now constantly bombarded with in, it, just information and blips of information. So I like how you said, you know, be like watch what we consume That's as right. far as it's what overwhelming we and you can become overwhelmed. Okay. Mm. But you can also take control of the situation to live your life in the best condition. And that's why just be mindful. All this social media sort of snuck up on us. Yeah. And now everybody listening, the first thing you do, you go to your phone, most likely in the middle of the night, you check your phone. Right. Well, it's easy to say, don't do it, but it's even easier f to decide how you want to live and right. what you want to take into your right. mindset. It's yeah. true. And it's creating new choices. It's, right. it's always being, like you said, being mindful. So if we're mindful, then we could be at a choice point to say, okay, this is what I'm doing now. It's not just an unconscious action. Do I want to wake up and just pick up my phone? I mean, right. I hear all these doctors now and all these mindset coaches talking about, you know, Let's not pick up our phone right, right away. But that's easier, they you say, to sure. do it, but they really it's a don't. practice. One thing you can do, which I want to show the audience out here. Yes. If you're feeling overwhelmed, and because a lot of people are dealing with overwhelm wherever you are, yeah. there's something easy that you could do, which will make a dramatic improvement on your well-being. And I'm going to show you. So at the supermarket, I'm going to put this down for a second. You can get a lemon. I'm going to hold oh, it. Oh, okay. Hold it for me. I'll hold you it. get a lemon, Okay. You get a lemon. You cut the lemon. You smell, breathe in the lemon. Here. Right. I love okay. Lemons. This is aromatherapy. Oh, true. Okay. So true. if you're feeling a bit freaked out or overwhelmed, just get a lemon and start breathing it in. Okay. That's a big deal because lemons, the olfactory nerve, which is cranial nerve number one, which is responsible for your ability to smell, it's okay. the most primal nerve. So if you're feeling overwhelmed and freaked out, Smelling something, mm. especially citrus, because it's got such a limonene, it's got beautiful terpenes, and it has phytonutrients that inspire your health and happiness. That will make a difference. So this is something easy that you can do. And also, you learn something new. So you, next time you go to the supermarket, buy a lemon for yourself, buy a lemon for a friend, keep it at work. And if you're feeling overwhelmed, and then you can put it in your healthy green tea mm -hmm. afterwards. Good idea. 
Yeah, because lemon is also good for us, so might as well Absolutely. smell it and then use it, right? It's an antioxidant. Mm -hmm. It helps fight cancer cells. It helps protect your cells. It helps with detox. And also with Thanksgiving coming up, mm -hmm. I have a recommendation on what you should bring because, right, we're going yes. into our Thanksgiving yes, show. Yes, please. Okay, when you go to your family's house for Thanksgiving, you bring flowers, right? But you should bring also celery, Mm -hmm. And the reason that I say you want to make the change to make the difference, eat more celery. Celery is mm -hmm. a powerhouse. You want to know what to do if you have swollen ankles? You want to eat celery because it helps with pitting edema. It helps with detoxifying your blood. It helps with gallstones. It okay. helps with any kind of know. stones. And all the people out there suffering from gout because gout has a lot to do with rich food and a buildup of uric acid in the system. You eat celery like two or three stalks of celery a day, mm -hmm. and you will notice a difference. And the best part is it doesn't even take long right. to take hold. Yeah. So bring right. celery to your family events and just eat it. Now, if you also want, you can take the celery and cook it with some some chicken broth or mm -hmm. some bone broth mm -hmm. or vegetable broth and make a healthy broth to drink. But eating celery every day, I'm talking about every day, Yes, is a really, really powerful way to improve your health. And you were talking about a cool trick for people to do yes. once the celery gets used up. What I, yeah, I was telling you, I literally just cut the bottom off. I stick it in a little bit of water and then it just starts growing. It's beautiful, and it just and you can you can literally start growing your own celery. Stalk. And you watch life, and yes, it's a plan for it your house. Is. So these are really important components because nobody wants to feel bad. Everybody wants to feel better, but sometimes you just don't know what to do, and that's where knowledge is power. Because every day, think about it: you eat two, three stalks of celery a day. After the fourth day, you'll notice your skin is better. Mm -hmm. You'll notice that your ankles if you're dealing with pitting Good edema so many people in florida walk around right. with swollen ankles and they basically are deteriorating mm. and rotting from the inside we don't want that to happen this has cellular protective qualities mm, that's nice. really important and i love celery because it has that crunch factor so it's kind of satis for me it's yes. satisfying because you feel like you're literally crunching and eating something. Absolutely. And if it starts to get a little limp and you really don't know what to do, you cut a piece off the bottom, you cut it and stick it in water. And within a few minutes, the water will climb up and rehydrate mm. and recrisp the celery. Oh, I didn't Isn't know that. Isn't that interesting? That is interesting. Yeah, because it goes, you know, it doesn't sure. stay for very long. And also, you want to aim for organic because the downside of celery is it, the traditional celery can be loaded with up to 19 different types of pesticides. Mm. So you want to spend a little extra and get healthier organic celery and try eating it. Try juicing it. Put it in soup. Put it in your mouth and watch what happens. You will notice a difference. And then one thing leads to another. That's the best thing about right. health. That's you start true. making one change and then somebody says, oh, you look better because you do. And then you feel better. Right. And then one thing leads to another. And then you go to your high school reunion and you're looking great. Mm -hmm. So that's something you want to really, really be mindful for of and, and what I really enjoy is the the mindset of instead of I'm going to take this away, not eat this, not eat that, just add. Keep adding the good stuff, right? Just add the celery and then add other good things. So Aim we're focusing, for healthy choices. Yeah. And it's so easy. Like what, we want to thrive in 25. And we're winding up to the, to the year, the end of the year where you reflect. And in reflection, this has been a really – big deal year yeah, for definitely. so many people. Sure. We didn't come into it the way we're going out of it. So what do you want to do? You mm -hmm. want to be healthier? You want to feel better? It's up to you. And that's why the shows and the information that you provide is so important. Thank you. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So what, what would you recommend to somebody who's listening right now and, you know, maybe they're not feeling their best and they want to make better choices, um, you know, start with nutrition? Well, actually, we got a quick commercial break. When we come back, we'll, we'll discuss that in a little bit more.
All County Healthcare has exciting news for any and all patients with COPD or other respiratory ailments. Listen to what renowned pulmonologist Dr. Keith Robinson has to say. Hello, I'm Dr. Keith Robinson, board certified pulmonologist, medical director at Fusion Health Pulmonary Rehabilitation, and a board member with the American Lung Association of South Florida. We have exciting news for patients with COPD. We now offer IPV therapy at home, which has been demonstrated to improve airway clearance, decrease hospitalization, and improve quality of life of patients with COPD. Please call All County Healthcare for more information about this FDA approved therapy. For further information, call All County Healthcare now at 954 717 7027. That is 954-717-7027 or visit our website at allcountyhealthcare.com. You can also find us on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, and LinkedIn. Remember, All County Healthcare always puts the patient's needs first. You are listening to You and Your Doctor, Living Longer and Healthier, an informative show that helps you find answers to questions you always wanted to ask but did not have that somebody that could make a difference in your life. Call into the show if you have a question at 888-565-1470 and we will put you on the air to inform all our listeners. Now, back to our show. Thank you for tuning back into our show, you and your doctor. We are enjoying a conversation with Dr. Nancy Powers. You can reach her directly at 561-631-6344. And her email is drnancytalkshealth at gmail.com. Dr. Nancy, any other suggestions? We're going into the holidays. We want to maybe bring some healthy choices. What What are you thinking? When you go to people's houses, you want to bring dark chocolate. Yes. Okay, dark chocolate is a very powerful antioxidant. And also, dark chocolate improves your mood immediately. But you want to not just shovel it down. And this is a very important mm. component for every. Every time you put anything in your mouth, take a moment to think about it. Don't just shovel it down. Right. So many people have health issues with digestion congestion because they don't chew their food properly. Sure. We're coming into the holiday season. You're going to be tempted with so many different types mm -hmm. of foods that you maybe normally don't eat and the family is there. So you want to, no matter what you're eating, sure. chew it double what you mm. normally do. That's a really good starting point because like carbohydrates can only True. digest in the mouth. Oh, okay. Yes, the salivary amylase is the enzyme that digests mm. in the mouth or all the way down in the gut. So a lot of times they talk about wheat belly and people who have yes. problems digesting wheat, which causes gluten intolerance. When you chew and allow the chemistry of your enzymatic function of the, the tylen, which is the, the amylase, mm -hmm. which is the enzyme that is secreted in the in the glands in the mouth that's really important so chewing is so important Con for you so conscious consumption yes. and, just... and don't drink diet soda oh yeah if you're going to drink you can drink if you want that you want sparkling water with a little bit of fruit juice but don't drink diet soda right. all these epidemics True. of all these diseases you if you can't pronounce it how do you expect your body to assimilate it properly so that's another really healthy choice too it is yeah because some people like i know i like the bubbly once in a while it makes so, a difference yeah. Cher said that Cher said you don't want the soda you want the bubbles it's true and so first thing in the morning you should have Water with lemon. That's mm -hmm. the first thing you drink in the morning. Mm -hmm. I like it really cold because I like to drink something cold in the morning. But no matter what. And then that mindset of a detox carries you through the whole day. So let's get rid of that which no longer serves you. Let's get rid of all of the unnecessary extra weight, extra toxins, extra stress. Mm -hmm. Let's find a way. Let's work together to help you make the change to make the difference. And you can, and you will. Mm -hmm. You know, Dr. Nancy, a lot of people are a little overwhelmed. The holiday season, of course, is a joyous time for many, but for others, it's a time maybe where they just, whatever happened, I they know. just wanted to pass by. What what type of suggestion do you have for people that are maybe going through this type of experience? 
that's a really good question because a lot of people are dealing with a lot of things. So first of all, you have to be kind to each other. And if you're mm -hmm. driving, let the person in front of you go over in traffic. Yeah. The second thing is if you are dealing with the holidays and maybe there's a lot going on in the world, which is causing us a lot of stress and sadness, you have to take a portion of your day and devote it to your personal creativity. Mm, okay. Nice. Whatever that may be, whether it's growing celery and, and not <laughs> right. killing your plants. <laughs> right. Or I love adult coloring books. You can get an Two. adult coloring book on Amazon mm -hmm. and get the, yep. and just leave it on a table when you walk by and just color in one little part and you will notice because overcoming overwhelm is a very big deal. And I have a tip if you're totally freaked out, like if you hear something that overwhelms you, yeah. you want to change your state immediately. So you want to wash your hands mm. in really cold water or stick them in ice water. I like that. Yes. Okay. Because you, or your feet, but it's easier to wash your hands. So you change your temperature, you change your hands and take a deep breath. One wonderful resolution because we're coming up to that season so you can thrive in 25 is to learn different breathing techniques because Very that important. can help you control your heart rate and your metabolism and it's also a skill to help you take control of your health breath awareness is so underrated Absolutely, especially when you're trying to wind down mm -hmm. at the end of the day, because we're all on hyperspeed. We wake up and we're in a hurry from the get-go. So taking a moment to take control of your breathing techniques will really serve you. And there's so many, so much information on YouTube. You can learn anything and it's you should true. learn about your health. It's true. It's, it's really underrated breath work because I know for myself... I've, I've practiced it during, and it was because of times of need and I needed something, a quick fix. And I'm like, oh yeah, it works. It does work and, and it works it, fast. And it works fast. And so does changing your state. Another thing which is really good is first thing in the morning, you stick your face in ice water. Yes. That's a really great technique. It's good for your skin. Yeah. And also it's right up there by your brain. So mm -hmm. it jolts up your brain and says, hey, guess what? We're here for the new day. Let's make it happen. That's right. You know, all these people doing these ice baths and all that. I, I heard, I can't remember who said it, but somebody, a doctor said, you don't need to do the whole ice no, bath. No, I'm you scared of that. You could stick your head in the, in the, stick your face in the, in the ice the, bath ice, is a lot. It's a lot, but it's this a lot. is a good, I've done the, yeah. the, just the face with the ice water. And it makes a difference. Makes a don't huge Don't do it at difference. night because it wakes you up True. so much that you'll have a difficult time winding down. So at night, what can you do to wind down? One of the things which is really important is when you lay down in your bed, allow your body to relax. Most people are hunched forward. Right? Mm -hmm. You go everywhere. Mm -hmm. They got a hunch. They got text neck. When you are laying down in your bed, you let your shoulders relax. Mm -hmm. You take a moment and sink in. Your clavicle, which is your collarbone, you let it extend and relax. And let your entire body relax. And you can move your feet. You can move your hands. And take a moment and illuminate your body with healing golden light. Mm -hmm. And wish yourself for a lovely sleep. And wish yourself that when you wake up in the morning, it will be a healthier, happier day. And you will know just what to do. I love all these tips and hacks and tricks because for me personally, I so many times in my life I needed them and used yeah. so many different techniques. And so I'm so grateful you're sharing with the audience because we, we all, you know, get to have coping skills, oh, yes. you know, and being mindful is first step. Being aware is, 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 is being aware and mindful is that step in the right direction. And something's got to click. Not everything clicks with True. everybody. That's right. So find out what works for you. Also, if you watch TV at night, you can put on YouTube and they have soothing ocean. If you have a big TV in your room, you put on evening soothing ocean. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. Things like that because it right. calms down your mind. Instead of the news, oh, instead yeah. of the wars, the right. watch the ocean, of course. watch the stars and watch that you make healthier choices because you want to be a blessing to your family, not a burden. Absolutely. And it's up to you to make the change, to make the difference. Because when it comes down to it, we are each responsible for ourselves and we want to 
feel stronger and live longer mm. every day in every way. Wow. This has been such an amazing interview. We probably have about less than a minute. So anything you want to wrap it up, um, Dr. Nancy, please do. Now's I think we should all take a collective deep breath. Let's I breathe will. in and breathe out and set your goals for a healthier, happier you and learn to make the change, to make the difference. Small decisions mm -hmm. can make a big difference so you can thrive in 25. And if you need me to help you with anything, she'll put up my phone number because I offer all sorts of care. If you need help, if you're diagnosed with something you don't know what to do and you want a holistic perspective mm -hmm. or you want to learn how to have your body work better. You want to feel better. I'm sincerely here for you. That's my number. And I look forward to helping you feel better naturally and making the world a healthier, happier place. I love it. I'll give you a number out again. 561-631-6344. I love that. We shall thrive in 2025. Have a great evening, everybody. Take care. Thank you. Thank you.